Why I'm addicted to Classic WoW by Force Gaming? Why I'm addicted to Classic WoW? Let's see, what is this? Okay, I'll watch it. Sure. Yeah, you know what? This could be a good. This could be a good video. Uh, well, we're gonna take some time to get over there anyway, so we might as well uh, just go ahead and watch something while we do that. So again, guys, I want you guys to understand, uh, we are all going over, everybody in the guild, uh, go over to Angoro Crater, all right? And we're going to use this, we're going to use this layering technique in order to get as much Devil Sword Leather as possible, all right? So I'm going to see if this is going to work, okay? Let me pause this right here, and uh, let's see, we'll get this done. Why I am addicted to Classic WoW. Okay. Look at that guy's neck beard, dude. You can tell he's actually telling the truth. That's what happens whenever you play Classic WoW right there. <laughs> oh, dude, there it is. What day is it? I haven't uploaded a video in weeks. What have I been doing? <laughs> uh oh. That's what happens when you're a warrior. It's great. Well, it happened. Uh, I can't say I'm surprised, uh, just maybe a little bit disappointed that yeah. once again, I'm addicted to the world of Warcraft. All right, Welcome I just back. I've been playing all day. I'm going to go out for dinner, but before I leave. I queue up so that when I get back in five hours, I can play. And yep, I do the queue. same thing. I actually, whenever I'm going to take a break from the game, I literally log myself out for long enough to put myself back in queue so I don't feel like I have to stay online. And then I go do real life things for a few hours, and I come back and I sit in the queue and I wait and I get back online. Yes, video games. Yeah, the past few okay. weeks have basically been like a Azeroth themed version of Groundhog's Day with me waking up way too early, playing WoW all day, going yep. to bed, and then repeating the process. It's, that sounds it's great. It's astounding to me that like still after 15 years that a game like this is capable of basically just taking hold of my life. And it's ruining really insane. It. I'm, 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 I'm befuddled. I figured I'd befuddled. just talk about it with you guys a little bit. Maybe we'll consider this a form of therapy or something, because I'm not paying for a therapist. I got WoW to play. <laughs> it's really easy to be dismissive you don't need and one. just say, well, MMOs are designed to be addictive and they're huge time sinks, so that's why you're addicted and you're spending a lot of time on it. But wow. I really wanted to kind of pin Most like other MMOs aren't like that. of the real specific reasons. Like, why am I addicted to this game that I've already played and what I've already done? done everything? In. Broadly, I could just say like MMOs right and loot games. Uh, we're gonna try to get everybody on the different layers of Ungoro Creator and farm uh, Devil Sword Leather on all of the layers at the same time. What about Oni? We're gonna do that in a little bit too. All right. Is, is, is that okay? No, I'm so sorry to have uh, interrupted the video. Go ahead. Okay. In general, there's just uh, there's always something else to be working towards. There's always something that you're thinking about that you could be achieving in the game. There's always levels yep. that you could be uh, working Reputation towards. Reputation and like, hey, I could get another level for Getting my character. Gear. I could level up some of my professions. There's yep. always that the new sweet piece of gear that I could go into a dungeon to try to get. There's yep. a never-ending list of these different things that the game pulls you to work towards. And that's kind of the whole thing. And a lot of them take massive time investments. It's just how it is. We're really top They all sure this fucking stuff, do. Frankly, I think it's the social pressure that comes with these games. You're having a good time and you're and you're going on these adventures and doing this stuff with your friends and you don't want to feel like you're missing out. So you want to keep up with levels, you want to go and do those dungeons, you want to be there with the people. I feel like that's really important what he's saying, right? Is because you don't want to get left behind. It's like in leveling and everything like that, it's like you feel like you have to keep up with everybody else. So I think that's like actually a really thing, like the social pressure of the game. So like if one person's doing a lot of stuff and then you feel like you've got to catch up and be, you know, at the same place as them, I think that's like the same thing. I, I think that's a good thing though. Uh, like it, it might sound bad because it like puts a lot of pressure on players, but I think that players putting pressure on other players to play the game is so much better than players just, or sorry, the game putting pressure on you to play the game. 
people that you've enjoyed this experience with for all this time. Whenever yeah. I wasn't playing, I was wondering, are my friends playing? Like, yeah, what level exactly. are they? Are they gonna outpace me? I mean, I'm not too ashamed to yep. admit that I would occasionally pop up this incognito window, hop onto Twitch, and see if any of my friends who were streaming had gotten a level ahead of me. That is not normal behavior. I did <laughs> I the same thing. Here, like, I did. I literally did the same thing, man. I would stay up all night to outlevel Zach, and then Zach would get up earlier than me, and I'd wake up. He'd be 34. I was still 33, and he'd be like, "Dude, do you want to go 7 11 Like, no, man. I've got to play. Wow, I've got to get to 34, man. I'm behind now. And like, no, it's the same fucking thing. Like, I did this shit all the time. Like, I wasn't even like ashamed of it. I just wanted to stay up with everybody else. Try to make it so that this video doesn't seem like I'm complaining about these things. A lot of these things are the reasons there was such a clamor from myself and many other people yeah. to go back to Classic WoW. Like, a lot of us wanted Blizzard to release the game as it was because there were aspects about it that we really enjoy. And I'm not saying I haven't enjoyed these past two weeks. I'm having a lot of fun. But I also realized, like, this is not been good for the rest of my life. I what do you guess mean? I am complaining about it. You don't need it. the rest of your life I just life wanted anymore. to talk about it. I thought it was That's interesting. It. Plus, it's been two weeks since I made a video, so I gotta fucking do something. Yeah. I don't want to go broke while playing WoW. That would be bad. <laughs> yeah, I've been waking up super that. early with quite clearly not enough sleep, but having so much desire to jump into WoW that I, I wasn't really bothered by I it. Wake up I would at be 7 going to bed really late, and then all of a sudden, 5 a.m., I'd be like, well, I'm awake. I guess Time when you're, to play when you're WoW. sitting here not expending too much energy, you don't really need as much sleep. I would just straight up skip meals because I didn't want to cut back on grinding time. That's even true. though I knew it'd only take like five minutes to go downstairs and whip myself up some eggs and eat a banana or something. I would. So here's how you solve that problem okay because i have the same problem it's the same thing with like taking a shit too You've, you don't want it you don't want to use the bathroom because you're playing the game here's what you do what you need to do is you put yourself on a flight path or you put somebody that you're playing with on follow and that way you don't have the the guilt of not playing the game for those three minutes in your mind and so like while you're flying then you go get your food while you're flying then you go take a piss right but you never stop playing you never stop playing ever you just sometimes you know are doing things that don't really require a lot of things or require a lot of investment that's what i used to do all the time i was i've been skipping routine like stuff that i've been doing yep. for myself on a regular basis Good. the past year basically Good. every morning i'd wake up i'd like read a little bit i'd get some exercise you know i'd try to eat a nice breakfast just do things that are good for myself past couple weeks Nope! Skip this. Skip that shit. I don't got time. I don't got an hour to spare. That Very is good. Very good, right there. Be doing. Are you kidding me? As you quite clearly see here on the YouTube channel, been postponing working on stuff, which that's not great for my wallet. That's that's going to be a bit of a problem. I freely admit, like this is all I should have taken a sponsor from Lord VPN. Healthy, but at the same time, boy, I've been having a lot of fun. This has been a great time. Anyone else joining me in on this process here? Now, if you're looking yeah. at this and you're not into the world of Warcraft. You're probably thinking, this is a problem. We have to ban video games. But I think the, the interesting thing about this, coming from a perspective of someone who's been on this rodeo numerous times before, I am having a good time. I'm enjoying the time that I'm spending here, but it's got to be moderated. And I suppose- Look at this guy, dude. How are you not going to enjoy this? Remember what I was saying about world PvP, like not being fulfilling? Think about being Gurman right now. Think about being Gurman at this exact fucking moment, thinking to yourself, I fucking hate this game i fucking hate this game he does a big aoe pull he's a mage he's so happy he's like oh yeah this is gonna be awesome and then you have some fucking dumbass go in there and dot you and mess everything up fire over down goro crater guys fire over down goro crater and we're still looking for more people too some people clearly myself included moderation yep. isn't always my best uh attribute it's not do i have any good attributes Same. i'm level uh, 40 on my warlock. You see, but that's not good. There's people who are level 60. I'm I'm failing at life and failing at wow. What's the problem? It's Hi. such an amazing, special, unique experience. And honestly, this is what I love about these games. Counterintuitive yeah. as it seems, and it might just be a little crazy. All of this, everything I'm talking about here, and this obsessive behavior and, and like playing too much and skipping out on sleep and thinking about the game constantly, this is what I love about it. The the obviously the 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 key comes into balancing with your life, and I have no. not been doing a good job of balancing with my life the past no. couple of weeks, but I'm planning to do a good job of balancing with my life going forward. I no. think it's okay 
to indulge in something that you really love. Because even though I've been putting aside a lot of important things that I should be doing, and I haven't been living my best life, I've been enjoying it, and I've been having fun. But yeah, I've been- See, that's the best part about it. It's like classic WoW is so good that you can actually ruin your life over it. You can know that you're ruining your life over the game and still keep doing it with no guilt at all because you're having fun. Indulged for probably about as long as I should really indulge. I really do. There's like a special pleasure that comes with getting this uh, pumped up and excited about a, a game that I'm playing. Yeah, it feels and it good. It doesn't happen all the time. Maybe once, sometimes twice a year, there will be a game that I get this obsessively into. I enjoy them for while they last, and and then I move on and and start living a more well balanced and healthy life. With that said, like I've I've had a good time this past couple weeks with WoW. I've been playing rather obsessively. Excessively. I got my warlock to level 40 before I decided to like an insane person to do it all over again And then I've started leveling a warrior and he's like a level 30 or something right now But I'm gonna I'm, keep playing. I'm gonna wow. get one of my that, characters to 60. I'm gonna call. do the whole WoW endgame stuff again uh, I should probably just do it in like a more measured reasonable manner No, and, you know, it's crazy cuz as I sat down no. to think about like putting this video together what do you mean? There was a part of me in the back of my head that was like dude, you're not even that hardcore. What are you? And talking about you look, look at some twitch streamers out here who are playing like 16 18 hours a day never getting up not eating like they, they, they've been they were been level 60 for like a week already and okay. they're already clearing molten core and shit like you're not even you got a level 40 warlock okay and you're dude. Up a warrior, that's true like a crazy person part of me says that to myself but then i also realized just how insane that is and i already feel like a crazy person with what i'm doing i'm not that's gonna... the best part dude is there's always a bigger fish is like this guy feels that way with me i'm feeling that way with other people that got 60 before me they're probably feeling that way with people in like apes you know and it's like you, there's always somebody that you can look up to and be like i i'm wasting i'm only wasting 12 hours a day on this game this other guy is wasting 14 man i am i'm getting behind man every week basically this guy gets a whole day ahead of me you know and yeah it's like think about that man like that's the whole fucking thing i'll always feel that way Begrudge people enjoying what they enjoy. I'm I'm certainly no no better. I suppose at the end of the day, I would say that I feel like even though this hasn't been the best way for me to be living my life these past two weeks, this has been a a, a, a pleasurable indulging of something that I don't do that frequently. This doesn't happen with every single game. This isn't week after week, year after year. Big but mistake. every so often, maybe once or twice a year, a game comes out and I get really into it like this and it might not be the best for the rest of my life but who as cares? long as it stays relatively short periods of time who, who and cares? it doesn't really negatively impact me over the long term i think it's fine it's probably a little crazy and it is definitely very obsessive no i'm not dead so i guess we're all good i've been taking care of the dog at least right albie you're good He's sleeping, see, he's having a great time. He said he got the computer again. Wonder if he's gonna get up today. <laughs> he's yes, sleeping, Albie, okay. I'm gonna get up. I mean, I knew it was really bad when my biggest sense of accomplishment daily came from taking a shower. It felt really good. I was like, yeah, I'm re I really did some stuff today. <laughs> I, I can't now relate. To get back to leveling and wow. Yeah, I can't relate to that at all. Uh, real world tasks are red. World of Warcraft is the only green quest in my log. Yeah, that's why I do it. That's how, that, that, this is so fucking, this is so poetic, it actually makes me depressed. Uh, let's see, that's the weakness talking, you're wasting time not grinding. Yeah, he probably wasted like over an hour making this video. He could be level 42 by now, but now he's still only 41. Uh, I'm not dead, I guess it's all good. Exactly, man. Like, this is... I wonder if the economy will take a big hit due to adults reviving their WoW addiction. I hope so. That'd be great. Failing at WoW and failing at life. Welcome to the majority. The reason why I'm addicted to the classic WoW is because of the community. Seriously, the people more often than not willing to help you in quests, give you master armor, gadgets, etc. Plus, having to coordinate groups for almost everything is not a bad thing. When you actually have to play a work hard, simply level up to grind out your professions. People understand the struggle and come together with their goals. This is an amazing game. That's extremely true. Can we get, uh, just give me one second. Uh, can we get everybody else over here to on Goro. Uh, everybody else, come on over here to Angoro, and uh, we'll go ahead and start trying to make this happen, okay? And so I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do the layering. And uh, this is going to be a very, very uh, uh, a very good idea. So just go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys that. Everybody head on over here to Angoro. Even if you're not in a group, come over here too, okay? Alright, and I'll show you guys how we're going to make this happen. 
Okay, so I want to watch one more. I got addicted to WoW Classic, then I quit. Here's why. This guy, this is a uh, a verified account, so I want to see what the fuck this bullshit is. I'm addicted to World of Warcraft. Good. Or at least I was addicted to World of Warcraft. Um, I'm quitting. As of today, I'm quitting because I am. <laughs> I have played 36 hours Good. in the past three days. That's it. Because I got home from Hawaii on Wednesday afternoon, and that's like that's like 12 hours a day. I mean, like. That's not even a big deal. Like, it's 12 hours a day. I, I mean, you can do that easy. Like, I do that every day. The queue times were so long to play that I couldn't play on the server that everyone um, in my guild is on. Um, That's probably why I was quitting. So I, I played Thursday, Friday, and then a little bit this morning, and I'm, I'm calling it quits. I got quite a bit of gold. I got quite a bit of levels. <laughs> I did pretty good in my time. My gear is actually pretty good for my level. Um, you know, I've got some, some good staff and wand and all this different stuff. I was doing then this kind of AOE quit? Blizzard uh, mage. I was going to do some cool stuff, but I cannot commit to this game. It is very, very time consuming. It's pretty much everything I want in a game. Good. Um, but I know that I can't cover this because it's all been covered like 15 years ago, <laughs> 10 years ago. And so I can't cover this game. I didn't want to stream this game because I just want to sit there like... <laughs> Questing all day. Like it's actually Sims really game. enjoyable. I'm gonna go shower. I gave away 11 gold to Real Crafty so he can get his mount. Okay. I gave away 130 gold to my buddy Dustin. How the I, uh, fuck? Yeah, 130 I, I gave gold. Away most of my stuff. I'm gonna keep my equipment in case I ever want to come back. And Holy just, you know, shit! Okay, so he's keeping his equipment. He's not quitting. Yeah, he's not quitting. Never mind. Oh, yeah, he, he's definitely not quitting. Okay, so this. Yeah, this is. All right, yeah, th this is already bullshit. No, he's probably a streamer. People gave him money, or like he, he had twelve. He's had like thirty-six hours played in the game. He's only level twenty-three. The odds are, the odds are, he's probably just like done a bunch of auction house stuff and farming stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna uninstall this because it's taken over my life. But it's just there's just too many games. There's Monster Hunter World, there's Borderlands, there's Destiny, and if I commit. To, to getting to level 60 and raiding and doing all that shit in this, I'll never get anything done. Because I can already <laughs> tell myself, like, I want I to be, I wanna be playing. And I mean, you should just play what? and enjoy games. And I did, for two days. Destiny? Days, really. I, I played, I enjoyed it. I was oh my I god. I sat at 3 a.m. every day, got up at 7 a.m., like, or 8 a.m. See, this is, that's what I really like hearing, okay? Is that I don't like hearing people stand up late playing the game, but if they get up early to play the game, that's it. That's it right there. That's what makes me feel good. You get up early to play the game, that's motivation. That is true motivation. Staying up late, that's just, you know, that's just a lack of self control. But getting up at 7 a.m. to play World of Warcraft, that's what a winner does. That's not healthy. That's, that's embarrassing. No. But it was a good time. No. Um, no. I guess I just wanted no. to make this video because I didn't make a video in two days. <laughs> I didn't make a video for two days. Uh, because Who I was cares? busy playing this. I'll be back on track. I'll be better. Uh, sorry. I, I just... I, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I just love it. Um, and it's actually... What's funny about it is it's actually my first time playing WoW Classic. Or WoW Vanilla or anything. I played okay. to level like 20. Maybe, okay. Maybe level 20. Okay. I played to level 20 way back in the day on a druid. And uh, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah, me and too. I, I, I got all the way to 60 though. Experience it. And yeah, I, get, I got all the way to 60. I get the hype. It is very slow and very tedious though. And so that's the part of it too is like. I want to get to the raids because I think I'll like the raids most, but I think the leveling process hasn't been like amazing. It's it's okay, but it's not it's not amazing. I, I think a lot of people feel that way that play it for the first time, right? Because it doesn't have a lot of the perks and uh, you know flashy shit that like new games have. Uh, it's reasonable that he feels this way. It's completely reasonable he feels this way. Really like getting upgrades. Like when I got this ring, I got this ring today. I was like, oh shit! I was like, another ring. I had one. I've been waiting for another one. Oh, it's good intellect and spirit. Like I was like freaking out. That's a big one things. right there. And then I got this this uh, shoulder piece, the first shoulder piece I ever got, and I was like, oh my, 
Oh my god! Six intellect, three stamina! I don't care if that's not the best roll. Like, that's amazing! It is the best roll because so, items don't know, roll. There's been some moments that have really got me. Go back to Destiny. Night, Listen, son, man. You're going to talk about playing Destiny. Well, that's not the best roll. Yeah, it's not exotic or whatever. It's just good. Yeah, th this is the thing. Like, these other games, they have these other bullshit. I can guarantee you this guy, if he if he really was going to quit, he wouldn't make a video probably about quitting, right? He would have deleted all of his stuff, deleted the character. He's not deleting the character. He's not getting rid of the gear. He knows that he's having a lot of fun with the game. He has the same problem that a lot of people have, is that they just start having so much fun, they can't fucking control themselves, and they just play the game over and over and over and over and over, right? And they just do that at the expense of everything else that's important in their life. I don't know really how I... I like, I mean, I... There are some people out there that do that. Some people out there that do that. Right? And so, you know, I, I can see where he's coming from. I did, but again, too much time. I'm tired. I'm yawning. I'm yawning because I haven't slept. So I'm going to shower. I'm going to go eat some lunch. And then I'm going to have a big Destiny stream. I'm going to make another video saying, hey, I'm live. Uh, but I'm going to stream for like four or five hours. High tempo, high energy. I might take a little nap to get ready for it. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Destiny content and other content will be uh, ready to go soon. Just a heads up. Monster Hunter World. And then Borderlands and then Destiny. And I'm going to cover all of them. And it's going to feel jarring because I'm going to switch up the contents of content that's posted. And uh, I apologize if you're big Destiny fans, the channel is- Me too. I'm sorry if they're Destiny fans too. Listen, man. I get it. I understand. It's not your main content. Seems like his content is mostly Destiny. His videos do pretty well. I can see where he's coming from. Don't quit classic wow don't do it because you're doing yourself a disservice actually you know what let me take that back quit right now stop playing this game because if you get to 60 and you get to experience the game you're going to hate all those other games that you were going to play and it'll be the only game that you want to play and you'll be like me playing one game for 13 years don't get don't get the 60. Don't do that. You're going to you're going to ruin your life and you're going to love it. Okay? Don't get the 60. You're going to hate him. That's the truth. That's the fucking truth right there. Uh days later, I was wrong about classic wow. This is cute. Nobody ever truly quits wow. You will see. Problem with Mintash though, you had 150 gold to give away, 23 is flat out lie, don't do so. I probably doesn't even know it's gold or silver, what the fuck, dude. I, I don't even know what the hell this guy's talking about. Uh, let's see. This is everything I want in a game. Stops playing. That's right. Well, it, it's like, if people like this, you gotta understand that it, this is like, YouTube is like their job, right? Like, their job is doing YouTube. So it makes sense that they're gonna quit the game because they feel like YouTube isn't really, like, they, it's interfering with their job. Uh, you know, that, that's the truth. Uh, let's see. Why I was wrong for quitting WoW. Farm 300 uh, Wailing Vigils. WoW says WoW is too grindy. You think you'll quit, but you won't. That's right. Your community will watch you stream this. Do what you enjoy, Mashup. We came for Destiny and stayed for you, brother. Anybody that ever says this, if you're a content creator, anybody that ever reads a comment like this and thinks to themselves, Really? Really? They're gonna do that for me? They're really gonna do that, dude? Oh my god, I play whatever I want. It's a bad idea. It's important to have a, a have a core core audience of people that follow you for uh, for certain type of content and not disappointing those people. Right? It, it's very important to do that. It's a it's a false. It's a false. There's gonna be some people that do feel that way. But the majority, the unspoken majority that just watch your content and don't really interact with it in any other way, they'll leave based off of what you're doing and come based off of what you're doing, right? And uh, I'd say, like, if you want to do the con if you want to do like other game content, you have to be really entertaining, or you have to be really compelling in one way or another. And if you can't do that, you're gonna have a bad time. Now, guys, I just want to say one thing. 
So I want to show you guys right now. Wait a second, I'll make a video.